My name is Nick Jones. Former Mr. Australia, Mr. Australasia and Mr. World, I'm the founder of Gentech Nutrition and this is how I train. Hi, my name is Nick Jones and today we're going to be doing a very creative tricep workout. Three exercises. Exercise number one is a giant set of actually four exercises. Exercise number two will be a close grip bench press. Exercise number three to finish the triceps is a big stretch movement, which will be overhead dumbbell tricep extension. Exercise number one is a giant set. The first exercise here is a dumbbell kickback. Bend in the knees, now keep the lower back very, very flat. Overaccentuate your posture a little bit so you're looking up slightly. Raise the dumbbells into a fully contracted position. Feel that tension, this is a great exercise for keeping tension on the muscle in the fully contracted position. Keeping control and tension on the dumbbells the whole way down, only just a little bit tighter than 90 degrees at the elbows is the bottom part of the movement. Again, squeezing the dumbbells up, hold that contraction for half a second at the top. Really squeeze those triceps, get a great contraction in the triceps in this movement. With no rest, move straight over to the tricep press down machine. Select your weight, again, a slight bend in the knees. We're going to do an underhand grip for our first 20 reps here. Get a great contraction at the bottom of the exercise with your arms straight, elbows locked hard. Raising the bar slowly and smoothly over about 10 second tempo to a stretch position. Squeeze the triceps right through the movement. Don't use the body weight, no momentum here. Squeeze the triceps, keep the tension on. Contract hard at the bottom of the movement on the tricep. Raise again, a two second raise on the tempo. Squeeze down hard for about a second. Hold that contraction again for about half a second. With no rest, after completing 20 reps, we change the grip, overhand grip now. This is where we're going to work through the mid range of movement. Again, being an isolation movement, it is only the elbow joint that moves. The shoulder joint is stable, we're isolating the tricep here. Now, keeping that constant tension, we work through this range of motion where we don't fully contract the tricep and we don't fully stretch it either. Here we're really trying to push blood into the muscle. So pump it out for 20 reps here, keeping tension the whole time. After your 20 reps, we're gonna move straight into, with no rest, a rope overhead extension. So again, we're keeping tension on the muscle the whole time, but this is a stretched movement. So it's always great to finish with a stretch movement here. Again, posture is absolutely crucial here. One leg forward, one leg back. Pick a weight where you're going to just squeeze out 20 reps. Holding your hands together, overhead behind your head, we're going to straighten the arms, and at the top of the movement, we're going to pull our arms apart, about a foot to two feet apart. Really, again, we're getting a great contraction on the tricep. This is a full range of motion. Really get focused and finish this giant set off by pushing lots and lots of blood into the triceps. Three sets here of 80 reps will get our tricep workout started. Exercise number two, the close grip bench press. So the first set, we're going to go for 15 reps. Now use the shoulder width grip. The most important thing is that the elbows, when you lower the weight, the elbows stay to the side of the body. Unrack the bar, put tension on the triceps. This is the difference between bodybuilding and powerlifting. Put tension on the working muscle. We slowly lower the bar over about a two second tempo down to the bottom of the chest. Touch the chest slightly, that's full range. Drive the bar back up, keeping tension on the triceps. So we squeeze at the top of the movement. Full range, two seconds down, no rest at the bottom, touch the chest drive up but with the triceps over about a one second. Set number one, 15 reps. We're going to have 60 seconds rest between these sets. We're gonna increase the working weight, drop down 12 reps. This is classic pyramiding. After set number two, we're gonna add more weight, rest another 60 seconds, and we're going for 10 repetitions here. Our fourth set on this exercise, you're gonna pull out all stops, and to do so, we're going to rest 90 seconds. We'll put the maximal weight on, we're going for eight reps. There's four sets for the close grip, barbell bench press. Exercise number three, one arm, overhead, dumbbell tricep extension. A really isolated movement, but a big stretch movement. It's always great to finish your workout 
with a stretch movement. The potential for this is that we stretch the fascia, the lining around the muscles, which may restrict growth if it isn't flexible or if it's adhered to the fibers. So let's grab our first dumbbell. We're going to start with simply just 15 pounds here. Now 20 repetitions for the first set. We're gonna finish the workout like we started. We're gonna put a lot of blood into the muscle. We're gonna work through a full range of motion. Always, always folks, soft knees, pull the navel towards the spine and activate the core, the lower abs ultimately. The upper arm must be against your ear. Fully contract the movement at the top, down slowly, again, about a two second tempo on the way down for a full stretch. Again, we extend the arm straight overhead, about a one second time under tension to contract and shorten the muscle, about a half a second at the top in the fully contracted position. Over and over, two seconds down, one second up, half a second of full contraction here. So first set, 20 repetitions each arm. After set number one, we're gonna to move to set number two, increasing the working weight. Again, pyramiding, we're going for 15 repetitions on set number two. Set number three, increase the weight again, we're pyramiding, so 12 repetitions on set number three, and our final set number four, we're going for eight reps. Ladies and gentlemen, I really hope you enjoyed our creative tricep workout today. Again, triceps, you can train them on their own. If they're a weak body part, you might wanna specifically have a day in your weekly program to hit triceps alone. Alternatively, stack them with biceps, put them on chest day, or put them on shoulder day as well. It's always going to work grouping triceps with those other three body parts. So enjoy your triceps training, folks. For other awesome workouts, guys, subscribe here. Otherwise, just go straight to www.mrsupplement.com.au.